Hey, it's Peter Newman, and I've been leading worship for years and coaching worship leaders and teams for years and have had the incredible privilege of doing that in my local church and for retreats and conferences and mission trips and worship seminars and settings in the U U.S. and, you know, all around the world. And it's just been amazing. I never planned on that, but God opened these doors little by little and just been amazing. And through the years, uh, there have been some things I've seen that are really effective. I've seen other people uh, model these for me, teach me. I've had some really good teachers and, and also I've made mistakes and you know, fallen flat on my face and learned some things the hard way. And so I thought it'd be cool to share with you uh, some of those insights, some of the things that I've found to be most effective for leading people in worship and hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and, and learn from the wisdom of others as well and we can all become together we can all become more effective worship leaders so anyway in this first video this is the very first one so welcome to it uh, and in this first video i thought man what would be the most important thing to to start off with and so uh, here it is the most important thing when we're leading worship the most important thing is that it's all about relationship and connection right that is what it's all about all the other things the music and the tech and the instruments and everything that all serves the most important thing which is relationship and connection God is relational to his core he is relational he wants connection with us and amazingly <laughs> amazing that he wants that but but that's really what he wants he wants our hearts right and so there are three connections we think about relationship and connection there are three that are just so critical uh, when we lead worship, if we focus on these, we're going to be, we're going to be way more effective uh, at leading. And so here they are. The first connection is the connection with God. As we lead, we want to be connected to Him. We want to be hearing what He has to say to our hearts, to the you know the the heart of the congregation. And and as we lead, man, we want to be connected to to Him. The transforming power of the Holy Spirit to come in and speak to us changes us changes the people in the room as we worship God. It's, a, it's an incredible thing. And if we're just singing songs and we're disconnected from God, yikes, right? We want to be connected to the heart of God. We want to be connected to God. It's the most, most important and first connection to the Lord, to God, all right? Second connection, it's really important, relationship that we build is with the congregation, with the assembly. I call it the macro worship team. Often we think of the worship team is those that are, you know, assembled on stage that are playing instruments or singing. But really the worship team is everybody in the room, right? The whole room is worshiping the Lord. And when, when God looks at the situation, he doesn't just look at the people on stage as the worship team. He's, he's receiving worship and he's speaking to the hearts of everybody in that room that's connecting with him, right? And so we, we are leading the macro, the big worship team, the assembly, all those gathered, and so we want to connect with them. We want to engage them. We want to draw them in and, and invite them into this amazing thing of worshiping the Lord. And so that's an important connection, the connection with God, the connection with the macro worship team or the congregation, and then the connection with the micro worship team, what we often call the worship team, the musicians on stage, the singers, the tech people, people involved in projecting things maybe onto screens. All, you know, all those people, we are part of kind of the smaller part of the worship team, the, the micro worship team, that's prompting the larger assembly to sing and worship and get involved and participate together, right? And so we, our connection as the leader with that worship team, the musicians, the, the tech people, that's a very important connection as well. And so we want to build that. We want that to be really unified and really strong in the moment where we're leading, right? So those three connections, if we can focus on those three connections to connect with God, to connect with the congregation or the macro worship team, to connect with the, you know, the worship team on the platform or the little micro sort of worship team, if we will focus on that, we will be way, way more effective as worship leaders. And in upcoming videos, I'll unpack those a little bit more deeply. But those are the big three, okay? Relationship and connection, God, congregation, worship team. And uh, we'll, we'll, that, that'll wrap it up for this time. See you next time. If you have a comment, if you have a question or you have something you want to talk about, you know, put it in the comments and uh, I can talk about those in upcoming videos. All right, have a great one. Let's point people to Jesus this week.